It's walking dogs in wet and muddy conditions like this that lead dog owners to 26-year-old Kaylee Darling's shop, Dashing Hounds. Her grooming service keeps dogs' coats in a healthy condition. But under current COVID-19 restrictions, Kaylee, who lives in Raynham, is able to see her clients only when she walks her own dog, Chester. Yeah, so initially we was able to work um, for welfare reasons, which my interpretation of that is all dogs to prevent matting, to prevent nails getting longer, anything that's going to cause them harm in the long run, preventing that, in my mind, is better than curing it once the damage has been done. So, and now, now we've been told that we're able to groom on vet recommendations. So if a dog's got skin allergies and needs medicated baths, we're able to do that. Or if they're severely matted, we're able to shave them down to get them out of discomfort. Um, but we're not allowed to do anything else that, that prevents them getting into this condition in the first place. In serious cases, matting can cause reduced blood flow and in extreme cases, dogs have had to have tails or limbs amputated due to the lack of blood flow. And this is why responsible dog owners ensure their pet is properly groomed. Dawn Dolan had to borrow a kit to cut her dog Stanley's hair at the last lockdown. It took us three days to do what Kaylee normally does in two hours. And what was the reaction from him? He hated every minute of it. Kaylee stresses preventing dogs' coats getting into a poor condition is far better than dealing with the damage caused by a matted coat. Um, it, it can severely impact their mental health. It, it prevents them moving as freely as they normally would. It, it, it really affects them because it, once, if I've had a dog in that's severely matted, as soon as the coats come off, they're free, they run around and it's like they've not, not been able to do that for such a long time. It, it severely impacts their mental health. Kaylee is now closing her shop premises to use a mobile unit when she's allowed to open again. She has promised her clients whose appointments have just been cancelled that their dogs will have priority with her clippers then.